Good morning, Canada. Good morning, Montreal. Bonjour. I was just there. I love your city. 840 here on your Thursday morning. I'm Meredith Shaw. And did you know that 92% of people struggle to achieve their goals? Peak performance mindset coach Hinnikon is here to explain why waiting for motivation might actually be the problem and not the solution. Whoa. <laughs> it is Deep so hits true. Already. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Because often it's we're, we're kind of waiting for that moment of inspiration or moment of uh, just make me do it, right? So wh why can that be more harmful than good? Well, there's a great quote, and I think you'll love this, Meredith. It's the start that stops most people. Because mm, you're right, they're just yeah. waiting for this like flash of energy. Yeah. Like, now I'm gonna do it. And it doesn't work that way. You actually get momentum by taking action. We can even think of it when you're pushing a car. At first, it's like heavy. It takes a lot of effort. But then there's momentum that's created, and then it takes less effort. And mm. it's the same with our goals. And I often say, Meredith, that it's not the task that is heavy, it's the resistance to doing the task. That is what feels really heavy. And also I feel like sometimes we're like, I'm gonna do that when, Oh, right? The right? when then life, when the someday I life. When I lose 10 pounds, yes. when I move houses, when I went, right? Yes, someday. yes. And then it also has to do with like passive and massive action. Like yes. the passive action being like, I have to research. I need to watch a few more videos. I don't know enough. Let me get my ducks in a row. And then they just gather more ducks and the ducks are endless. There's nothing wrong with ducks, There's okay? A, we we no. enjoy a duck, <laughs> but we're just saying, like <laughs> at some point you have to start and that's the massive action. Cause even think about it. If you wanted to learn how to ride a bike, you could watch all the videos, mm. you could research, but at some point you're not gonna you're not gonna understand balance until you're on a bike. You're not gonna experience it. And being on the bike is what gives you feedback on what you need to course correct. So massive action is getting in the game. It's like the difference, Meredith, of being in the stands in your life mm -hmm. and being on the court. The massive action can be scary. That's it where can the, be very that's scary. That's where the fear comes in, right? It does. We have a fear of failure. We do. And we have to redefine that because is there really failure? Mm. Like, it, even if we take the bike example, so simple. Yeah. But are you failing if you're falling off at times? No, you're learning. And so I think if we can reframe it that you are learning, there is no failure. Because how else are you going to learn unless you get in there? I think another thing we worry about, Meredith, is looking bad. Yeah, judgment. Other people's judgment. Other people's judgment. Sure. Other people's judgment. And that's why we don't want to be a beginner at things. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, I think, when it comes to taking action, and this is very interesting, are you committed or are you interested? Yeah, I like this distinction yes. uh, because I hadn't thought of it before that way. Committed versus interested. So what is that gap? When you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. When you're committed, you do what it takes. So an example is... Oh, say that again. Yes! Say that again. For the people in the back. When you're interested, you do what's, what's convenient. convenient. When you are committed, you do what it takes. Yeah. So here's an example. Let's say you're like, okay, I've signed up for a a class, I've actually signed up for it, I've paid for it because it's, I'm gonna start doing this now. And so you've signed up for it and now it's the morning of, you're getting ready to go, you go to the car, you have a flat tire. Not convenient. Now, were you interested in going to the gym and doing this class or were you committed? Because if you're committed, you're gonna take an Uber. Mm -hmm. If you're committed, you're gonna jump on transit. If, if you're interested, it's gonna be like, well, I guess it's a sign. <laughs> it's a so I wasn't meant to go. I'm, I'm very good at finding those signs. I'm yeah. not meant to start today. Yeah. And we'll save it for another day. Right. So that is the difference. Mm -hmm. And you want to get committed in your life. Because we were just saying before we started, it's so short. Yeah, it is short. We're talking about the summer being short, but you know, yeah. life too, you gotta spend your time wisely and, and have fun with it. And tomorrow's not promised. What do you think blocks yeah. people the most? I know we've talked about a couple yes. things, but from taking that massive action. Like let's unblock people right now. Okay. Let's let's take some massive let's, action today. People sit in indecision. You've got to learn how to make decisions. Make a decision and then move on that decision. Mm -hmm. You see, many people are on the fence and the fence is not comfortable, especially if it's yeah. pointy. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. Not get off that pointy fence. Get yeah, off get, that okay. pointy fence yeah. and make a decision and then know that you will get feedback from the action that you take and that there is no wrong action. But all I can say is that sometimes I think, Meredith, we're on this rock that is spinning. We're here for such a short time. It's your life, and you deserve to play full out. Mm, I love that. Yes. Playing full out. Play full out. And one of the things that helped me personally, I have a little mantra that I say sometimes, yes. don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Oh! 
right? It's someone just needs to write that good. down. Yeah, I, I mean, to someone did. That. I took it yeah. from someone. It's not <laughs> from my brain. But don't yeah. let the perfect be the enemy of the good because I think we, we get too uh, caught up in getting it right yes. instead of just getting it. Instead of getting it. And you know? so many yeah. of us are watching everyone else's life Absolutely. on social media yeah. and we're not taking action on our own. We're watching and, and we're judging it. Mm. So we've got to start taking action. It's very easy to be in the stands of life these days because there's so much distraction. Yeah, there's so much to watch. There's so much to watch. Yeah, but we yes. got to do the action. We're yes. going to take massive action today. Hinnikon, thank you so much for thank being you, here. Meredith. People are following you where? Because I know they you are. got lots more tips. Yes, uh, following me on Instagram at Coach with Hinna and a podcast where I talk a lot more about this called Possibilities with Hinnikon. Thank you for coaching us. Thank you. To live our best lives, <laughs> to play full on. We love that. There's more Breakfast Television coming up right after this.